Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on the West Coast and the East Coast, too. And good evening in Europe, good morning in Hawaii. A great pleasure to have an outstanding musician. He's a master of all multi-reed instruments, and this gentleman has quite a history. Besides being able to play various jazz styles, he also accompanied in ensembles, people like Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Mann, Sinatra. He toured with Lena Horn. How about a nice hand for Mr. Charlie McCarthy? Charlie McCarthy. Thank you. And uh, we have a varied program of different style material. We'll start out with a piece by Kurt Weil. I think he wrote this while he was still in Germany, Three Penny Opera. Mac the Knife, but the German title was Moritat. And Sonny Rollins had a hippest recording, a really great recording of this tune. Here it is, Moritat. Thank you. 
and see what happens. Uh, the next election is an original. Uh, my son and I were traveling to Norway a few years ago to play a festival with the wonderful Norwegian lady tenor player, Borda Niska, has a warm sound. And we saw some friends in Copenhagen like the wonderful trumpet player, Pale Mikkelborg, and after we went to Stockholm to see good friends there, Lars Niklasson, who used to work for the Swedish embassy, big jazz fan and a great drummer, Ronnie Gardner, in Stockholm before we went to Norway. So on the plane from Copenhagen to Stockholm, I was falling asleep and this next melody came to me. Luckily, I had a little hand recorder and I recorded it then wrote it down later. This is Scandinavian Waltz.
Hey, Charlie, that's the first time we played that. Yeah. Beautiful tune, Larry. We Thank you. Nice Thank you. Well, it's yeah. dedicated to all the great Scandinavian musicians, and they have a tradition. 1931, Louis Armstrong made a great recording video in Copenhagen, accompanied by swinging Danish cats. And uh, when I got there in 63, I was fortunate to play with Dexter Gordon. You had Niels Henning Ersted Pedersen, great bass player. Ben Tiedi, wonderful bebop tenor, Pali Mikkelborg trumpet, and, and uh, in Norway you have Bodil Liska, Karim Krog, a great vocalist uh, from Norway, one on the top. She, she's the only vocalist that recorded with Dexter Gordon. Dexter didn't record with any singers. So, a lot of great history, and Ronnie Gardner, of course, uh, American expatriate, is still there playing wonderful. A great place to be. Bill Evans loved it in Scandinavia, too. So, let me see. The next piece is very appropriate for today. Today happens to be June 10th, the freeing of slaves. And wonderful Cuban composer Ernesto Lecuona, who wrote Maliquena, Solamente. Actually, Solamente una vez is a Mexican tune, but he wrote, besides that, Siempre en mi corazón, Always in my heart. And uh, he wrote Sibonet. This tune, Tabu, my friend Jorge from Peru translated, it's about the beautiful skies and rivers in Congo and poor children of the slaves. And Tabu comes, the message is when a black man looks at a white woman, it's Tabu. So this is a wonderful piece, Tabu.
exotic feeling. And uh, as I mentioned, the lyrics are about social injustice. Yeah, it was taboo in those days when a black man looks at a white woman. Thank God things are better today. Charlie, maybe you can give me back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The next piece uh, we have Oh yeah, we have a great Sonny Stitt tune, Eternal Triangle, recorded by Sonny Rollins, Sonny Stitt, and Dizzy, Eternal Triangle. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
as I said, things will be spontaneous. That's right. The eternal triangle. Sunny Stead, Sunny Rollins. Ah, let's see. Next we have a beautiful ballad by Kenny Dorham, Joe Henderson's first album on Blue Note called Page One. Great album. McCoy Tyner on piano, Butch Warren bass, Pete La Roca, great drummer, who became an attorney. He wanted to have more security. And uh, Kenny Dorham on trumpet, one of the unsung heroes in jazz. Joe Henderson was playing great in those days. His first album, phenomenal. La Mesha is one of the most, to me, high-level ballads written by a jazz musician. Very beautiful, moving harmonies, hip. Also, it happens to be in the key of B, B natural. Favorite key. Favorite Charlie's favorite key. And the vocalists, when I started working with them, they loved singing in B and E. <laughs> Guitar keys. Yes, right. <laughs>
one of the most beautiful harmonically moving ballads. It just reminds me how everything, there are certain decades that have the height of the art in painting and films and everything, music. And as I keep mentioning, I have to mention it again. Uh, next week I'm doing solo piano music of Victor Young, I'll tell you about it. Great film scores music. And this one is on that level. And compared to the Academy Awards, simplistic, dumbed down material, winning Academy Awards, joke. But that's the way the media works. Anyway, next selection is Victor Young. And Victor Young won one Academy Award. A good tune, but not comparable to the others uh, around the world in 80 days, but he was nominated 22 times. And this is from a film with Victor Mature, Hedy Lamar, Samson and Delilah called Delilah and recorded by Max Roach and Clifford Brown, Delilah.
little touch of biblical times from the Middle East with jazz and with the modern technology. I used the B3 organ sound and I had to push a transpose button, but I forgot to push it back. <laughs> so for a while I played in two different keys. Well, okay. they're two of the best keys I ever played. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. One, I think the next piece is Antonio Carlo Jobim. I had a great pleasure while I was living and performing at the New York scene. Parker Meridian Hotel was on West 57th Street. It's still there, but the beautiful lobby with the piano, Buddy Montgomery and I used to alternate. That's now a hamburger joint. Things are dumbed down, as I said. But that's one day I'm sitting at the piano and who walks in and sits down at the piano bar? Antonio Carlos Jobim. I got to know him and it was a nice group. And to me, he's the most diverse Brazilian cat. Like this tune is very modern, kind of almost impressionistic harmonically. Then he wrote other tunes that are closer to old Brazilian African connection, just great composer. This is also dedicated to a wonderful vocalist, Mary Jensen. She brought the tune back to me, if you never come to me.
Antonio Carlos Jobim, great composer and most memorable for me, Brazilian selections. Of course, the big hit, Desafinado, beginning of Desafinado and So Dance to Samba are based on the Take the A-Train changes. He wrote a number of tunes, Opato and A-Train. He loved jazz. That's, That's right. Uh, I forgot to mention when we played Eternal Triangle, the bebop tune, I meant to dedicate it to our good friend, Hal Molina, trumpet player, who passed last Sunday. And Charlie and I are on Hal Molina's first recording from the heart. Al Molina had a very beautiful lyrical concept. He played some beautiful melodic lights. God bless you, Al, and you're in a good plane now. That's right. Uh, let's see, a couple more tunes. Uh, Charlie hasn't played clarinet yet. Which one is that? This is... is the shiny one? Ah, it, it's the Schwarz, the this black one. Oh, this one. Okay. The Schwarz instrument. Okay. Um, this tune is written by a Russian. This Russian guy also wrote, You Make Me Feel So Young. That's not Russian sounding, but he did. His name is Yosef Mayrov. This is Otto Nocturne. Thank you. 
beautiful tune, a very different, came out in late 30s, but made uh, popular by Claude Thornhill in the early 40s. Uh, when you think of Russian typical music, you think of minor kind of uh, dark eyes and it's a gypsy connection too. But Russia is a highly cultural center. You have modern composers, Shostakovich, Prokofiev, Skriabin. So it's a wide range. It's a great cultural country. Well, I need to mention this every week. Things are opening. There are some gigs. However, streaming is still the main ball game. So whatever on the screen you can see PayPal donation, whatever you can donate, we would dig it. If you can't, at least tell your friends about the music. Next week I do Victor Young next Saturday. And I think we'll conclude with a Hollywood composer also from Europe, Eastern Europe, Bronislav Kaper. So many great movie tunes. This one, Invitation, one film that it comes out is Lana Turner, a life of her own. She's a model, she goes to a big city to try her luck. And next time I'll turn the mic down a little bit. Try, try her luck. Another film by the same name, Invitation, this one is actually called Invitation with Van Johnson and Dorothy McGuire. <laughs> Bronislav Caper, Invitation. Thank you very much and see you next time.